You watching EAC News, thanks for joining us. The United Nations Security Council on Sunday to February 27th have called for a rare emergency special meeting of 193 member general assembly on Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which will be held on Monday the 28th for a briefing of humanitarian needs and civilians in Ukraine. Requested by France, United States, Britain, Norway, Albania, Ireland and Mexico. It will be the fifth meeting for the cancel of Ukraine in the past weeks as the Western allies step up the diplomatic campaign to isolate Moscow. US Ambassador for the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield says for the first time in decades, the Security Council has called for an emergency special session in the General Assembly. The Council members who have supported the resolution have recognised that this is no ordinary movement. Members have need to take extraordinary actions to meet this threat and the international system and do everything they can to help Ukraine and its people. The United States envoy to the United Nations have urged Russia to tone down its dangerous rhetoric regarding nuclear weapons. It is extremely alarming that the Russian president has supported, has resorted today to open nuclear blackmail. The world must take this threat very seriously. Well, first of all, we sincerely believe that the uh, Russian atrocities in Ukraine mount to violation of many, many international treaties, including the one that we cite when we sent our request to the court. The vote by the 15-member council was procedural, so Russia could not wade its veto. A resolution conveying the General Assembly session was adopted with 11 yes votes. Russia voted no, while China, India and United Arab Emirates have abstained. The move is the latest in a flurry of diplomacy at the United Nations in New York. It follows a Russian veto on Friday of the draft cancel resolution that would have deplored Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. China, India and United Arab Emirates have abstained and the remaining 11 members voted yes. The General Assembly is expected to vote on a similar resolution as soon as Wednesday. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield has announced during the meet to the press on Sunday, no country has a veto in the General Assembly. While General Assembly resolutions are non-binding, they carry political weight. The United States and allies see action and United Nations as a chance to show Russia it is isolated because of the invasion of the neighbouring Ukraine. They'll be looking to improve on the 100 countries to vote in favour of the General Assembly resolution in March 2014 after Russia annexed Ukraine's Krema religion. The resolution declared invalid referendum on the status of Krema. The vote will become at the end of emergency special session. It will be the only the 11th such General Assembly sessions convened since 1950. Russia would be in a position to block the move if it chooses. It is the cancel veto power along with the United States, France, Britain and China.